Tony's Spunky Steer, your dining destination for that special occasion, or if you just want a great steak. For several years, KCAA has been marketing the Longevity brand of nutritional and personal care products. Our experience with Longevity has been 100% positive, so we are pleased to recommend them to you. Regarding nutritional supplements, we recommend Pollen Burst in the berry flavor and Tangy Tangerine 2.0 in the tablet form. For regularity issues, we recommend 3-Day Cleanse, and for personal care, we recommend Morning Hydration Cream. You can shop online for Longevity at www.kcaateam.com or you can order by phone by calling 800-982-3197 and tell customer support that you are part of the KCAA team. Longevity is an American company based in San Diego. Call Longevity at 800-982-3197 and ask about monthly auto ship that allows you to buy Longevity products at wholesale prices. That number again, 800-982-3197. This is Pastor Greg from Chosen Generation Radio Show, heard right here on KCAA, 1 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do any of these sound familiar? Not sleeping well? Waking up tired? Drinking more coffee than usual? Can't stay focused? Craving sugary drinks and snacks? Feel like you're stuck on a treadmill? Having trouble managing your weight? Not sick, but not firing on all cylinders? Any one of these could mean that you might have a system overload, and thyroadrenal might just be right for you. Think about it. You've probably been feeling like this for a while. Life has a way of wearing you down, and if you aren't getting the right nutrients, then physical and emotional wear and tear will take its toll. Most of us, at some time or another, could use some nutritional support for our adrenal and thyroid glands to bring things back in balance. Our bodies respond well to optimal nutrition to keep daily energy levels up and stress levels down. Try Thyroid Adrenal from Michael's Naturopathic Programs, a nourishing support formula with vitamins, minerals, and herbs to put back what life takes out. Look for Michael's on the label. We're serious about good health. Thyroid Adrenal is available at leading health food stores nationwide. If you don't see it on the shelf, then ask for it by name, Thyroid Adrenal. Okay, nurse, let's get this man to the ER, stat. Right away, doctor. We see this every day. Heart attack or angina pain due to blocked and clogged arteries. Chelation can remove obstructions or blockages from arteries and help avoid painful and expensive surgery. Now there's Angioprim. It's a liquid oral chelation product that you take with juice. You start to feel the results fast. Angioprim increases blood flow all over the body, and that means more energy and strength to take on the day with less aches and pains. 60 years of research has gone into chelation, and angioprim is the result. A safe and easy way to unblock your veins and arteries from buildup that slow circulation. Paging Dr. Jones, please report to the emergency room right away. Log on now for a special radio offer from angioprim. That's angioprim.com slash radio. A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M. Angioprim.com slash radio or call 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. KCAA Loma Linda, your CNBC news station, where your business comes first. Off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. Promise you joy in the mystery. Dr. Marissa, also known as the Asian Oprah. Her mission, to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, laugh, love, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Penn. And welcome. Yay! I've missed you all. I've been gone for two weeks. Welcome to my weekly talk radio show called Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at naturally high noon here out of the Sunset Gower Studios in Hollywood, California. And then every Thursday syndicated on my CNBC News Radio channel, which is now NBC and NBC Sports as well. KCAA AM. 1050 FM 102.3 FM 106.5 and also everywhere that iHeartRadio is and this is a show about hope and happiness so there's no gossip no scandal and no K words no Kardashian talk at all so I want you to keep it tuned here so that you can focus on your own reality show and how you can be happy 88% of the time and yes I have been to the Great White North and also to Texas I went to help my mom who broke her wrist 
pack up 18 boxes from 83 years of living and found some uh, really interesting things. She keeps a scrapbook. <laughs> Do you like my Fonzie meets Prince hair on my head? Uh, as well, it was great um, learning about more about my dad, who I knew was a well-known microwave technologist, um, but there's tons of articles. I guess he uh, worked on using orange juice and, and bread and the McDonald's um, pork patties. All of that was uh, thanks to him. <laughs> so McDonald's fan, you can thank my dad. Uh, in the research that he did and uh, he went early to the other side but I miss him and I love him and I know that he enriched my life and I'm grateful for that and one of my favorite shots is uh, him with my two daughters before he went to heaven also I got to see my new great niece Elia Carissa sounds like hmm <laughs> and then my other favorite great niece Anna Grace who you know from the app and uh uh, her little commercial for my 21 day fast from complaining app. Uh, I also wanted to give a shout out to Michelle, uh, my mom's optometrist receptionist, who's really great, and Dr. McGowan and Nurse Nirvana at the Burnaby General Hospital. And uh, as well, customer, excellent customer service shout outs to Liz on WestJet. Danny at Cheap Air and Flashing Peace with James at the American Airlines counter. I love the tweets back from American. Great airline. Um, I think all the airlines after what happened with United are doing a really good job watching their customer service. Also a shout out to my plane mates to Vancouver and Austin, Texas, including the couple going to Disney from Vancouver, the Facebook employee who argued with me on my take up, take off game, uh, the dad who was from Austin taking his kid to L.A., and the two Austin police officers, Clink Scales and Cantu, who almost gave me the wrong directions on the Lady Bird bike trail when I met my niece and my daughter, who's doing her internship in Houston at MD Anderson Cancer Research. Shout out to her. I'm so proud of her. She's 19, and she's getting her name on two uh, research papers, and uh, I've talked about my niece who works for Google, so we say Christina it. We all had a great time um, also with my daughter, Sarah in Austin, Texas. Uh, last week, I also forgot to mention my Asian Oprah giveaway from author speaker Steve Farber. So if you're in the San Diego area, August 16th, and would like to go to a $397 Extreme Leadership Conference for free, then be the first to go to my website today, the number four balance.org. And if you aren't fast enough, you can still save $100 on the day with discount code balance. So that's the Extreme Leadership Conference. Thanks to last week's beautiful guest, Steve Farber, my new friend from, from CEO Space International. Uh, you can get that show on YouTube now. Just put in Dr. Marissa and Steve Farber. And now on to today's show. It's been a little while since we've done one, and I do love uh, probably this show the most, along with every other show that I do. But it is the call-in week of the month, the second week of the month where I get to work with callers on helping them balance their life tires, as well as smog check their stinking thinking, thanks to my fabulous call-in producer, Jarvis Essex, who's not, uh, who is as great as he is good-looking. And I know we've all talked about how good looking he is. And yes, yes, he's also smart. So I'm taking in all references now. If you'd like to date him, I'll go through your um, profile and your pictures and we'll see what happens. But uh, he's a great guy. And I, all, all joking aside, I do appreciate what you do for me. And I, um, you are a beneficial presence in, on my planet. Yeah. So a little applause for you. There you go. <laughs> I don't thank him enough. So he helps me be Dr. Marissa, the kinder, gentler Dr. Laura today with two callers that are going to call in. And uh, if you'd like to schedule, we do them pretty much every month. You just contact him at jessex13 at aol.com and he'll get you on my list for balancing your life tires. So let's go to the first caller. And that is Jay from Los Angeles. Jay, welcome to the show. 
welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> and I understand you are an actual caller that called in before checking in because I asked you to, and I'm so grateful for that. I am so excited. <laughs> yes, I am. I am. Which what I am considered is a reoccurring caller. I have. I was. Uh, I called in about a year ago so eloquently. And you had asked me on three areas of my life yes. what the Gail skills were, and each one of them ranging from, ranging from one to ten. And I want to thank you for, because I had already been through counseling, a practitioner, mm. a se several sessions and years of that, mm -hmm. and it was so exciting to be exposed to you um, to give me a great compass and a good assessment. Your program really gives the people a good assessment of where they are mm, and a good you. exposure to counseling. So kudos for what you do. Oh, thank and, you so uh, much. Yes. And so, yes, I do remember. So I just wanted to just give you that orientation to just let you know my heart is so warm because, Aww. yes. Well, that's very sweet of you. And thank you for those kind words. And we'll just check in with each other as usual. The, if you remember mm -hmm. last time, palms up in your lap, your feet firmly yep. on the ground, eyes gently closed, and just connecting with me through breath, through chi eternal energy, taking that deep breath in through the nose and releasing all the stories and the drama. Good. And one more deep breath in. Connecting with me, opening your heart, your mind, your soul to more love, more joy, more peace. And when you're ready, open your eyes. So would you like to, what would you like to do? You, you gave a great recap of how I assess where you are. Would you like a new topic or would you like to stay with the same and see where you uh, still would like a little balance? Um, I like a little balance because it was great because um, to give you an assessment, last time we went to health, you gave me health, relationship, and life. And health, I was, um, the one that I really needed was, uh, was mentally because of the fact that um, my uh, life and all that. But right now, I, uh, where number four is my, the next one is my home life. Okay. Because my health. I look to my health, my relationship, and my home life, uh -huh. and I say my health is so superb that yes. I'm you know, I'm just a product of the counseling and the whole coaching and the whole experience oh, has yay. really elevated me through the loss of my mother and father in the mm. last two years. Mm. My mother mm. was two years ago with embryo after 15 years of embryo mm -hmm. and rheumatoid mm -hmm. arthritis, and then my father was last. December mm -hmm. and we believe that people look at me and they talk to me. I can't believe that they made their transition. I said I was thanks to this whole thing. I was and the whole experience of what you do. I was able to be present with my parents Beautiful. and their experience and live through my gift. story. What so a gift. I was I was able to to really experience their death with them, their passing, which was a transition. Mm -hmm. So I made it through the health and the relationship because that experience with really counseling helps you have build a relationship with yourself. Yes. And so through that, why I say next area is home life because now that's the new area that is so wonderful for me because of the fact that because of the foundation my parents left us, they left us very Good. nice for financially. Now my home life where there's, a lot of chaos because you know when parents are dying and family are very tensions are yes. high and people are, yes. emotions are high. There's a reason they okay. say that uh, funerals and weddings bring out the best mm -hmm. and the worst in people. Mm -hmm. So I can say they brought the best <laughs> in me thanks to you. I'm going back to what you gave me in the power of the health and the relationship Wonderful. before I was able to be there present with my mom and dad. And then kind of be a moral compass for myself mm -hmm. through the passing of my parents, through my relationship. Now, my life, um, okay. now I have my company. And this is what I'm calling oh, about. Okay. That I have a multi 
I have a patent I'm introducing to the world starting at the end of the world of this year. I've uh-huh. been working 10 years to develop a service delivery, um, product service delivery for your community as well as create jobs. That's what I wanted to use Fabulous. my technology to use that for patent. Uh-huh. And so now there's a lot of kind of like uncertainty because there's such a need that there's so many people hurting and there's so many goods that there's that I want to be used now. And I'm so uncertain that whether that now is the time to do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But you can't, I, can't, I can't gauge now based on what I've accomplished. Right. And right. I know I can do it. Any time is the time. So mm-hmm. I like it. A, a kind of balancing scale because what I have shared with you, the loss of my parents, and a lot of things, and based on the conversation I'm conveying to you, I have made it through a lot. Mm-hmm. But yes. now, my, where I am now, I need a good compass of where right. I engage where Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so, good for you, okay? Good for you and what you have chosen to believe, And that most of the time you're in a good feeling place when it comes to something that usually debilitates people because of the the extreme grief. Um, We know where they are. They are not gone. They're just in another place that we don't physically see them. But they are always with us. Their energies will always be with us. Now, they are here to guide you continuously the way that they always have been. So you haven't lost that. But the access point is a little bit different. Before you kind of picked up the phone and said, hey, what do you think about this? Or what do you think I should do about that? Am I, am I close on that one? Yes. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> okay. so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so now. The guy where, yes. Thank yes. you. You're hitting on where I needed to come in. Thank okay. You. So what you're going to do yeah. now is um, you, mm-hmm. I'm guessing you have a meditation practice. And yes, if, and, yes, okay. Yes, yes. So during meditation, I want you to do what you normally do, which is a connection mm-hmm. with the source, right? With the power yes, yes, of I creativity, power, yes. mine right? Is, mine right. is dance. Mine is dance and dance. Okay, in dance. dance. Okay, Great. beautiful. And, just, um, and, then dance, and that's moving yes. meditation. Let me distinguish mm-hmm. between still meditation and moving meditation. I want you to continue to do the moving meditation where you're going to receive mm-hmm. impulses and receive ideas. Mm-hmm. It's a little harder mm-hmm. to stop and write when you're in the middle of a dance. So still still meditation is a little bit different of a beautiful animal. In still meditation, you actually are trying not to think. You're clearing so that you're completely connected to source. And source is where where your parents are as well. And so you're, the answers that you're asking from me today will continuously be given to you during meditation. I know that, I see that, and it's very easy access. So right can I, now... Can I, confirm, can I confirm what you're saying? I absolutely. Think what you're saying, interpreting what you said was because my mother and father and what I get when I'm dancing and thank you for meeting where I am. That's why I love what you, the practitioners, they meet you at your core. You know what is a core kind of thing of my dance of where I am that it gives me a chance to get in the, where I get in the space of capturing the big things that I am because I'm a big grass person Mm -hmm. and where I need to go in my life with my parents and my ancestors in the grass and all the wisdom that I need to download where I'm going to be still yes. and that information will come to me a lot more because I'm still in focus there. Correct. Thank you for that. And is that a, is that a good That's exactly that right. That's exactly right. Yes, yes. So you're you're receiving inspiration and impulses to express during your dance. That's moving meditation. When you're mm-hmm. silent mm-hmm. you're allowing your soul connection, your body, your mind, your spirit, your heart to be plugged in to this inspiration that creates the gravitational pull, the dolphins mm-hmm. that are swimming, the blades of grass that no two are alike, the snowflakes that no two are alike, the 7.3 unique individuals that we are, the way the sun rises every morning. So that inspiration f- focus point or that, that source is what you plug mm-hmm. into when you meditate. 
All right. Mm -hmm. So when you, mm -hmm. so everything that you're asking for, so let's say, let's practicalize this. There's a Dr. Yeah. Marissa new word. So, so you're sitting mm -hmm. in meditation and you're just, you're just breathing. So let's just do it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to yeah. practice this. So you're, you're gently closing your eyes and that's just to remove some distractions of what you see. Take a deep breath in through the nose and release. What is, what, I should do next with the business. Okay, so you're going to breathe in inspiration and you're going to release the question into the source. What is that I'm supposed to do next with the business? And you may not get an answer immediately, but I promise you that you'll, you even will release that question. And either during the meditation or sometime that day, you're going to get an impulse to call someone, to look something up, to email someone, to investigate something, to move money from one account to another, to relook at a proposal, to see what I've written so far, to call someone who wants to do business with you, to take a walk with uh, a friend who may talk about something that just happens to spur and that is called stitch work this is my newest analogy that i love all you're doing with your business is taking care of stitch by stitch by stitch you know what your talents are you know what your strengths are you know what the 12 percent that you need a little work on but you're not perfect you're taking your mind and being fully open to the creative force that comes from being plugged in in the source you start that way every single morning and your day will unfold and you will be impulsed into inspired action and that's all you need to do you don't have to see although you will get glimpses of the entire pattern that is being unfolded in your wardrobe of life your that that picture of what that that outfit looks like or what that car looks like or what that business looks like or all of that is already there and you'll get glimpses of that but i want you to have fun with the stitches and be less concerned with what the picture of the pattern is. Isn't it delicious when you get to little by little see what that pattern is? One of the things that we do as human beings sometimes is we're so rushed about wanting to get to the destination, wanting to get to the end, or wanting to see what it's going to look like, or wanting that end piece that we miss out on the mm -hmm. delightful little stitches on the way. Exactly. exactly. So, so, and the best way for you to access that is through meditation. Mm -hmm. First thing in the morning, getting into yeah. that, you know, and you already started it before you talked to me. You I were grateful. You, can I, can I, you were can appreciative. I I, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> can I replay what you said, Dr. Member? Absolutely. That was what you said. It was so beautiful the way you articulated. <laughs> I'm going to bring you along <laughs> all the time, right? This is my well, Mr. So, Mr. Affirming so here. The way, I feel like <laughs> Oprah on Life Story. When you listen to the Life Story and you're sitting there with Oprah and sitting there with Oprah and she talks with her friends, like, God, that's so resonant. Well, I get what you say. <laughs> and you're like throwing a rock across a lake and you're hitting so many milestones, like in a reading where people just see she knew all of these things and she's connecting these beautiful dots. Mm -hmm on how to center myself, how to take the corporation. And what you had said is where the first question that anybody asks is empowering questions. How, where am I going to use this mm -hmm. company? How am I going to use the entry of it? And then you were, gave me the wonderful rituals of daily exercises, not only of thinking about the practice of how I'm consciously going to show up in the, in the, with the company, you also gave me daily rituals of how to get up or practices on being engaged on the company. Mm -hmm. And my thing of my company was I was at, for the last 15 years, I've been putting together everything. Now I'm at a steward level and ownership, and it's immaculate, and I'm bringing people to steward it and all. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So from mm -hmm. that level, to see it as a steward, that's why thank you for my ancestors and my parents because they are stewardship, and that's what they're yes. giving. Yes, and they will speak to you directly 
especially during your meditation. That, that is, the, anytime Amazing. you get an inspired thought, that's where it's from. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's all, it's all source. It's all energetic creativity. It's all energetic insp inspiration. Mm -hmm. I want you to, to your, your mantra is now inspired play. I don't want you to work at your company. I want you to have inspired play with your company. So Thank you. that that's going to be your your practice. You. All right. And so I Yes. Go ahead. And thank you for making the distinction between the dance meditation, because I always do that. And I love my step meditation because that's how I make the decision when I'm meditating at Agape versus at my dance, because that is what my gift is. And mm -hmm. I have to offer to the world. And it's a whole hidden gift that I tell and I'm hiding on in secret. Uh -huh. But that's where I've my expression and my creative for years. I've gone into the core and then I drop down and I sit down and it just flows. And for you to make that connection, no one knew. It's like this lady, this lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let me let me you, also doctor. let me also put a moose on the table for a second. My yeah. darling, you are a thinker. And you have a million thoughts that go through your head every single minute of the day. Am I correct? You are absolutely correct. Okay. And so that's why still meditation is going to be a, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, which is probably mm -hmm. one of the reasons why you do moving meditation. Mm -hmm. But it's going to help balance that aspect out. So there's Thank going to be you. times where you're, you're not going to be comfortable when you mm -hmm. are still or comfortable when you're quiet or comfortable when you are not processing. So mm -hmm. I want to encourage you to be okay with that. You are a processor. Okay. It's one of your skills. It's one of your gifts. But I'd like you to sort of access the other side of you that does not process because there's even more to you than you mm -hmm. think there is. I, and thank you what you just said. And I'm going to, what I have done the last three months, as I've been bringing back into my skill and setting down, as I go into meditation, when I start leaving, feeling myself leaving my body, I'll bring out and I'll start doing a stretching. I'm to bring myself in kind of a yoga state mm -hmm. to bring my stretch, center myself and say, wait, I'm slipping. So thank you because I'm going to reinforce myself with what you tell me and just say, I need to be still because the more I'm still, the more I'm centered. And I tell myself there's a reason for why I'm doing mm -hmm. what I'm doing. And then yeah. I can shut it back off. Yeah. I need, what I take what you say and work at that. Yeah. Expand. It, it's really difficult. It's kind of the, the analogy I use is when you are in constant movement for something to land on you, it's more difficult. So if you want mm -hmm. things to land on you, being still is your best shot. Does that make sense? So, it so, makes so wonderful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. when you are still and you can, you can access the, the messages better. When you're not mm -hmm. still, then it takes more effort for something to land on you. Does, I see. Does that, and that makes sense. Yes, it does. It, okay. it, it makes sense. It, yes. Yeah, it makes 100% because of the fact that the grounding and then more energy and then um, holding the space. And I look at it because what you have really, they sat me down and said, you're, you're the Menza and the East, the east uh, the North side, West side. I use both sides of my brain and all this. And where I come uh, think of the left side of my side, the computer side and the artistic side and all that. But it's so wonderful to hear you say that because I flow so eloquently on autopilot on the creative side. That's the perfume, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But the technology and the business side, and thank you for centering me because that's the parent side of me. That's the steward side of me. That's the right. side that will hold me and be able to do what you're saying. Yeah. To ground myself, to stay centered when I'm out of my body because when I'm in these roles on the business side, you can't be, have that art. You have that play, I think, what you said earlier. And to take it in as a play-like attitude, that way I will get engaged in the stitch by stitch, as you said. I love the wonderful, the, mm -hmm. as I used in putting the pattern together for the rest of the journey of the company, 
putting it together by stitch by stitch. I won't get caught up in the details or something goes wrong. Then right. I under, I'm enjoying in the play of it because that's what really life is all there, about. There is no wrong. You're never going to get it wrong, and you're never going to get it done. And that's uh, from one of my great teachers, uh, Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks. Mm -hmm. So if you can allow for the unfolding of the pattern without having to analyze it stitch by Uh, stitch, Mm -hmm. then you can enjoy it more Mm -hmm. stitch by stitch. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Yes, it makes sense. Yes, <laughs> Beautiful. It does. And by treating it by play and looking at my attitude of it as play, then I can enjoy it because I am, I like that. Mm-hmm. I look at it as a moment. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love it. Thank you for that. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm getting the minute sign. Is there anything else that I can help you with? Um, That is really, you have touched on so much because that was, thank you, because yet I asked about my company. I was able to address my parents. I was able to address the wonderful distinction of dancing and meditation. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot more about myself in this conversation and how to ground myself and carry myself and how to use the creative side. It's like the dance and stage act. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Need to process more to the centeredness to stay see it, uh, stay centered. Right. Where I need to go to hold the information that I need to go where I need to go. Beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. You and, are uh, fair and balanced. <laughs> I tell you, you do fair and balanced for me. I guess I have more. <laughs> beautiful. Well, thank you for getting back in touch with me again, and uh, I'm grateful that. Uh, the inspired words that I got, uh, because I start all of my shows with let the words be thine and the voice be mine, speak through me, don't let me get in the way, were useful and helpful to you. And I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. and Dr. Marissa. I just want to say I'm just a testimony of people when they call in, and after they call in, they do need to call back in for refresher because that's what I am. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Absolutely. Peace and blessings to you. I want to give you my online Yelp. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. And when, um, do you have a website for your business? No? Right. Um, Not it's yet. It's going up. And yes, it's going up. And yes, and I, I will follow up. Can I follow up? With Absolutely. You Absolutely. Yes, Whatever can props we can give you. Off. Yes, I will. And I would like to talk to you offline. I All right. enjoy everything. Perfect. I might want to like talk to you for your service. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you know, I've, I'm yeah. teaching a moving meditation class since you're in L.A., um, yes. every Saturday now, because I'm, I just finished traveling pretty much for the rest of the year between India, China, and Canada. So every Saturday at 8.30, uh, in yes. Long Beach, I'll be teaching balanced Tai Chi Gong. So you're That's welcome to, oh, well, there yes, you go. So, <laughs> so you, Thank so I'll see you on the beach at 8.30. So anyone else listening in the area, please do join me, uh, for my balanced Tai Chi Go in class, which is a moving meditation that promotes inner peace one breath at a time. Thanks for that segue into my commercial. (laughs) All right. And that was my first caller from Long Beach, California, calling about how to uh, bring his business into the next level in a, a return caller, appreciative of the life balance tools that uh, I got to give him last time and this time. And it is that time of the show when I get to thank the sponsors who make this show possible with a little shout out and some exposure. So we'll be back in two and two. Peace in and peace out. How's your love life? Are you tired of the same old, same old? Before you sign up for a new model or join the internet dating pool that might be too shallow, try the Shaw Connection because there is a connection between sexual health and wellness. It's time for women and men to empower themselves and improve their overall health with a positive sexual attitude. So contact Shaw Connection Coach Jamie at sex 
sexpositiveattitude at gmail.com. That's Jamie at sexpositiveattitude at gmail.com. And here's to your health. All right, and we are back. You are tuned in to my weekly talk radio show called Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at naturally high noon out of the Sunset Gower Studios with Universal Broadcasting Network. And then every Thursday at 7, Saturday at 1 on my syndicated CNBC News Radio channel, KCAA, AM 1050, FM 102.3, FM 106.5, and syndicated everywhere on iHeartRadio splattering more hope and happiness to you and it's time for our second caller please welcome marie from la to the show good morning it is can you hear me i can hear you welcome to the show marie and uh as per usual we'll set you up by having your feet on the ground unless you're driving (laughs) your palms up in your lap And gently close your eyes as I guide you through a connection with me through breath, taking a deep breath in through your nose and releasing through the mouth, soft shoulders, soft elbows, soft knees, and then another deep breath in. Good. Connecting with me through chi, eternal energy, and releasing ah, all the stories and the drama. Beautiful. And in the next breath, opening your eyes. And how are you today, Marie? I'm good. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. And we're going to find out exactly how good you are by asking you (laughs) (laughs) to uh, give me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how you would rate yourself currently in health and wellness, in your personal health and wellness, 1 being not so great and 10 being fabulous. I would say at about a six. Six, all right. And then on the category of job and career, same scale? Job and career, um, about a seven. Okay, seven. And the last category is relationships. Relationships are way up there. Um, Definitely a nine to ten. A nine. Where I'm at nine, a nine, a nine, or ten. A nine, let's stick it with a nine. That's There's always fabulous. room for growth. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, uh, my, my uh, producer's asking me to ask you to turn your volume down a little so we don't get me twice. <laughs> even, okay. Even though I like the sound of my voice. <laughs> there we go. Is Perfect. that better? Much better. Thank Wonderful. you. Uh, just still a little. Are you, you, are you on speaker by any chance? No, I'm on my headset. Okay. So we're good. Uh, just just a little bit now. So, all right. So let's go to health and well-being. Sounds like it's the category we want to focus in on, unless uh, yeah. you'd like to talk about job and career. Um, we can do the health part, definitely. All right. Okay. So tell me what would it take to bring that number up? Doing the, doing the work that I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, isn't, it, isn't it so um, interesting? Aren't we interesting as human beings? Like we know. Absolutely. We know what is good for us. We know what's not good for us. We know what we need to do. And we just don't do it. <laughs> what is with that? <laughs> We, well, truly, I think is for me is um, I'm always so busy taking care of everybody else that becomes a distraction for me. Mm-hmm. And I'm very aware of that. Mm-hmm. And now it's to the point where, okay, all that that I'm doing, I need to do that for myself as yes. well as give the advice that I give, give it back to myself and take action with oh, it. Okay. And yeah, it's, it's, we can call it procrastination. We can call it just, it's the, comes down also to self-love I think too. Yes. you know I know I need to do the work again another day goes by and another day goes by I could have done this and yep. absolutely yeah yep. okay so so a couple of models and tools came into place as you were talking you ready get your seatbelt on yes. okay put on your life jacket with a silver lining here we go so the first one is I I think you're a perfectionist so yeah. I don't know you okay but my guess is you got to do things really really well 
and people mm-hmm. around you should be doing things really, really well, and you you really know how to help them with that. Is that accurate? Very much. <laughs> okay. So you're busted on the perfectionism. Now, perfectionism, where it is helpful in getting things done, it has a side effect, and it's called mm-hmm. the slide. So perfectionism mm. is up here. And then if you don't think you're going to do it perfectly, comes in procrastination. And then Mm -hmm. uh, if you get too much procrastination going, the momentum leads you to paralysis Mm -hmm. where you don't do anything at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing that you know that slide well. Very well. Okay. So the first thing is I want you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. Perfectionism is overrated. Perfectionism is overrated. I choose to be 88% perfect. I choose to be 88% perfect. I am now joining the Recovering Perfectionist um, Club. I'm now joining the Perfectionist Recovering club. Perfectionist. Recovering Club. <laughs> oh, see that? So, so, the, so, so as of this moment today on August, oh, no, wait, July, <laughs> what month are we in? Oh. I do too much traveling. July the... What is today? 11th, July the 11th at 1238, you are now going to discontinue trying to be perfect. And as long as you're 88% good, we're good. Now, what does that mean? Next tool that's coming into play, it's called 15 minutes at a time. Okay. So my guess is Tomorrow, I'm going to start walking an hour and a half a day. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to eat perfectly. I'm going to stop doing all of the habits that I have. And then one more day goes by, and I'm going to start tomorrow. Because you can't Mm -hmm. fit in all these lofty goals that you have. So I want you to shave down every single thing that you want to do and make them 15-minute increments. So as long as you walk for 15 minutes, that's fine. As long as you eat healthy for 15 minutes, you're fine. As long as you, um, you shave down your, you know, hour on Facebook to 15 minutes, you're fine. As long as you shave down your advice giving from an hour to 15 minutes, you're fine. (laughs) Do you get where I'm going with this? Absolutely. Okay. So as long as you hit that 15 minute goal, you're golden. You can, you can say, I did it one day. I did it for 15 minutes and that's good enough. It's not perfect. It's not what I wanted to be an hour and a half, but it was good enough. Got right. it? Yes. So, so give me three things that you try to do every single day, but you can't seem to fit it in. Um, the walking. Walking? Oh, how, how did I know? That yeah, was the first thing I said. That. And the funny thing is I used to do it every day for an hour, and then all of a sudden I just stopped. Yes. <laughs> That's even weird. That's even the okay. slide. The slide. Okay. So, so you're doing your and, perfectionist um, thing again. You're shooting on yourself. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you're stopping shooting on yourself from this point right. forward. I do not want to hear That's... those words. I used to. Right. No okay. more. Okay. okay, today I did, or I am walking out the door right now for 15 minutes. I'm going to time myself. I'm going to put the timer for seven and a half minutes, and at seven and a half minutes, I'm going to turn around and come home, because if you go out 15 minutes, you're going to get stuck somewhere. <laughs> so so <laughs> you want to make sure you get back to, to somewhere where you can continue. Yes? Yes. Okay. So... And if you feel good and you want to do more, then set your timer again for another seven and a half and go in a different direction. I'm not saying you you have to stop, but I want you to complete the 15-minute pass. Okay. That's walking, number one. What else, number two? Number two would be um, my physical therapy exercise work Uh. on the mat. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. I know that I had a hip replaced, and I know that I need to do, and it's just one of those things. But I put it down in my 12% imperfection. <laughs> so I do uh, <laughs> other stuff. But again, 15 minutes. 
I know they want you to do a half an hour. I know they want you to do a whole regimen for an hour. But all you have to do is 15 minutes. Okay. Okay? That's it. So you know the exercises. If you, if you don't have specific exercises, if you go and watch one of my past shows, Dr. Marissa and Mark Cormier, I actually get on the ground during the show and show some exercises that everybody can do for two minutes, four times a day. Are you there? That's perfect. Yes. That's, yes. Okay. So, so Mark Cormier, M-A-R-C Cormier, he's a biomechanic expert. And those exercises will exercise all the muscles in your body. Okay, so that's two. Walk, exercise. Next. Um, I'm going to pick it for you. Never more, mind. No, no, no. Sorry, I just picked it for you. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes. So you get one person to give advice to per day for 15 minutes. That's it. You're cut off. Unless you're getting paid for it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the hardest okay. one for you. I can tell already. Yeah. 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 So on average, my guess is you talk to about three or four people and give them advice for free every day. Pretty much. How did I know that? I swear <laughs> I'm not following you around. So you're now going to one person for 15 minutes. So this is how it's going to go. When that person calls and says, do you have a minute? You're going to say, actually, I don't, but I can pencil you in for Thursday, and you'll be my one person a day for 15 minutes. So you're going to stagger your three to four people and give them a day a week that they get 15 minutes. So that first person is Tuesday day, that second person is Wednesday day, and the third one is your Thursday girl. If you really have to do the fourth one, they'll be your girl Friday. They get 15 minutes. Same thing. You put them on a timer. I just realized that I'm helping you more than I'm helping myself. And I just got yelled at on the air by a life balance coach who has asked me to put myself ahead of everyone else so that I can fulfill my goals too. I love you. I want to help you. I'm still be going to be able to talk to you once a week for 15 minutes. But I'm giving you warning now. And if you, if you really, really want more time with me, I'm starting my own coaching practice. And I'm starting by Walking and coaching. So if you want to come over to my place, we'll go for a walk every Saturday and you, and you have me for an hour because we're going to walk somewhere and we can talk and walk. Are you there? I'm here. I'm listening and writing down. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were uh, revolting on me. <laughs> no. Good. All right. So So here's... Here's one of the reasons why you like to help people. One is, it's your gift. You're good at it. Okay? And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I want you to be able to help people and also live your life. And also, um, you know, I think, I think people who are good coaches should have a coaching practice. There's... there's there's this downside of putting everybody, you know, I, my order is God, self, and others. And often we're, we've got that screwed up. And we do God, others, and self, which depletes ourselves to a point where we're no good to ourselves or others. So, so I think you fall in that category. So I'm helping you with some tools to put yourself in that spot. And in order to put yourself in the spot, it's not enough to say, I'm going to do this, because you've been doing that for years now, and it's not happened. So in order to be able to do that, you have to let go of some of the things that you're doing now. Does that make sense? 
Absolutely. Okay. So, so in order to do that, that's why I'm not saying you can't help anybody anymore, but you're starting to, you're going to start to put little limits on it. The same limits that you're adding on the 15 minutes on the positive side, you're going to subtract into the 15 minutes with the time that you're talking to them. Now, is there someone who you've been talking to and it, ha it doesn't help at all and you keep talking about the same thing over and over and over again and nothing changes? Is there anybody in that category? I'm guessing there is. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. there, is, there, always, there always is. Okay. But I'm very aware. I'm, I'm pretty much aware of it and that's why I talk. I try to change the conversation to go to another level. Yeah. So, yes. Okay, so so those are the people that you put on Friday, when you okay. when you <laughs> when you have time, and actually those are the people that you actually practice not engaging. So your muscle is to disengage. Your 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 weaker muscle is to disengage. You've got a strong engagement muscle, but you've got a weaker disengage muscle. And I want you to start practicing disengaging and detaching with love. Does that make sense? Yes. You, your time has to come from somewhere. So in, in order to do that, you have to disengage with love. Okay. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. So the 15 minutes at a time is one tool, right? The 50, mm -hmm. Adding 15 minutes at a time, subtracting 15 minutes at a time. Okay. The perfectionism is another one. So you've got three ba life balance tools. Okay. The other one, okay. the last one is, I am enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somewhere deep down, you were given a message or you chose a message that I have to perform, I have to achieve, I have to do something for you to get the love that I'm looking for. Yes or no? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. And that is a lie. Marie, you are loving, lovable, and loved exactly as you are. Repeat after me. Okay. I am. I am. Loving. Loving. Lovable. Lovable. And loved. And loved. Exactly as I am. Exactly as I am. I want you to say that first thing in the morning, looking in the mirror. You will have some tears. That'll be normal. We're going to untrain yourself. We're going to undo the lie that you bought into for that. Okay? Yes. I just wrote it all down. Good. Thank you. Good. And what, wh how is your creativity and your unique gift, talent, and ability showing up? What is the name of your business? Um, I have a few, but the one, the one my main is Meals with Marie. Ah. Yes. I just realized who you are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't recognize your voice. And and oh, I can no, absolutely it's my radio voice. <laughs> is it? It is. And I'm so glad that you called and I'm so glad that you were honest about where you are because you are beautiful and I do know how loving, lovable and loved you are. And I also know how great you are as a chef because I've actually used you in one of my um workshops and I can totally endorse you. Uh, so what is the website? If you want a caterer who does healthy and delicious food, you have to contact Marie. And your website is? Mealswithmarie.com. Mealswithmarie.com. And if you mention Dr. Marissa, you'll get a discount. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw that in there. And um, you you look, you know, you're one of those lucky people too. You actually look very healthy. So I so so that's half the battle right there. But now I know you're doing it for the inside out. 
correct. Yes. So I would like you to really take those tools and work with them. Yes? Yes. Yes. Good. I'm so glad that you called in. I, uh, I just know that today is going to turn, you're turning right. Not, not a wrong right, but you're turning down a pathway where you know that you are wrapped in a warm blanket of worthiness and you deserve the 15 minutes at a time attention for yourself. Yes? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so yes. much, Marie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. I just love my job. So that was Marie. And uh, if you are a person who can relate, please do. Uh, and you just tuned in and you didn't hear all of it. Um, please do join me on Thursday at 7 or Saturday at 1 on my KCAAM station. And that is it for today's call-in show. I'd like you to step up to my balance bar and balance with me first through a tip for today, day 11 on the 21-day fast from complaining with Dr. Marissa in its seventh year. I can't believe I started this good life habit July 1st, 2011, and now we are in round 70 five or six. <laughs> so complaining and its cousin worrying are not paying jobs. And when we do complain or worry, it takes up space in our heads, in our hearts, and in our actions. We are in worst case scenario, which is just as likely as best case scenario. So why not go to the latter? Because when we're in our worst case scenario, it's a non-paying full-time job robbing us of every moment that we could be fully present, hugging our child, encouraging a friend, enjoying the sunset. So let your complaining and worrying go because you never get that time back. And that's from my 52 card pick me up, stacking the uh, deck for life balance with Dr. Marissa. Remember to get the app built by teenagers. Um, go to drmarissa.tv to sign up for the fast, because if you do 21 consecutive days without complaining, you do get a prize. And I'm not traveling for another month, as I mentioned with James in the first call, uh, teaching a weekly class on the beach. Uh, go to meetup and put in Dr. Marissa Balance Tai Chi Gong to find out more details and to RSVP there. And if you're an entrepreneur and want to up your game, join me in Florida August 1st to 5th when I debut as faculty on the CEO Space International with my talk called Mind Games, BS, calling the BS, the belief systems that help and hurt the entrepreneur. And if you'd like to see my first monthly column in the sun, go to my Facebook page where I will post it there, or you can go find the sun. Uh, it's a column called What If with Dr. Marissa. I also have an interview done by Clear Business Directory. You can get all of that as soon as you go to Dr. Marissa and give me a finger or a thumbs up there. And next week, I have in studio a very interesting guest. Do you remember Nitro from the American Gladiators? Well, Dan Clark, former Rams football player, screenwriter, actor, and Ellen DeGeneres' last boyfriend on her sitcom right before she came out as a lesbian, has a new book coming out called F Death which is about his heart attack and recovery, where he learned that we all make our own happiness, and that is the key to wellness. So come to the studio. He'll be here live. Well, actually, don't come to the studio. Tune in for the live broadcast next Tuesday on Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa Pay. That's P for positive, E-I. And remember, it's all about balance. Peace in and peace out. KCAA Loma Linda, 10.50 a.m., 106.5 f.m., and now 102.3 f.m. Go behind the wheel, under the hood, and beyond with Car Stuff from HowStuffWorks.com. Hi, and welcome to Car 